This is the MyPlate graphic that is published by the United States Department of Agriculture. MyPlate shows how each food group can fit into our diet through a plate representation. The USDA's dietary guidelines recommend that older adults consume about two and a half cups of vegetables, two cups of fruit, six ounces of grains, three cups of dairy, five and a half ounces of protein, and two tablespoons of oil per day. While at the grocery store today, we will be shopping for our weekly groceries as well as ingredients for a stir-fry recipe for two people under $10. Another tip before we begin shopping is to bring a shopping list to the store. Making a list of recipe ingredients and pantry staples for the week before shopping is a great way to eliminate waste, reduce dollars spent, and minimize trips to the store. I have our grocery list for okay. this week and I found a really nice new stir fry recipe. Sounds good. Uh, let's try and get all the ingredients for under $10. Stir fry is a simple one pan dish that uses a variety of vegetables, protein, and can include a whole grain. This is a great way to incorporate multiple food groups into one meal. Hey Cheryl, look at the great prices on these uh, bell peppers. I know, look at all the different colors. Let's yes. get some for our stir fry. Produce purchase in season may be less expensive because the cost of transportation was reduced to get the item to the store. In-season produce can be found in grocery stores and also farmer's markets. Fruits and vegetables can be canned, frozen, or fresh. There is not a best form of fruits and vegetables. Each has its pros and cons. When purchasing fresh foods, they should be used quickly since they don't have a long shelf life. Later, we'll visit the canned and frozen produce aisles to discuss fresh fruit and vegetable alternatives. Did you know you can freeze fresh produce? If you know you won't get through something like fresh berries, but they are being sold at a great price, you can rinse them, pat dry, and freeze them in a freezer safe bag or other airtight container. Frozen produce maintains quality for up to six months for fruit and 12 months for veggies. Oh, David, uh, the stir fry recipe calls for uh, mushrooms but I can't seem to find any. While recipes are great to use in the kitchen, sometimes we just can't find all the right ingredients. In those instances, we can always swap an item for something similar. What do you think about zucchini? Zucchini sounds good to me, and it's on sale too, so let's go with that. Use unit prices to find the best buy. Understanding unit pricing allows you to quickly compare one brand to another, the pricing for different packaging of a food, as well as different sizes of the same brand. Look for the unit price on the shelf tag. It will be listed separately from the retail price, which is the price you pay. Okay, so let's get some broccoli. Okay. Um, I know... This is a little more expensive, but I have a hard time chopping the fresh broccoli. So that'll be good. And look, yeah. it'll stay within our budget. Yes. It's on sale as well. The unit price describes the price per unit like per pound or per ounce. You can use this to compare foods in different size containers or different brands of food. Sharon, there's so many choices in bread. Which one should we get? I don't know. That's really tough. All right, let's, let's go with this one right here. I like the color. It's brown. When purchasing breads and pastas, you want to look for whole grains. Whole grains are packed with nutrients, including fiber and B vitamins. Whole grains are important for the digestive system and our heart health. The USDA recommends older adults eat about three ounces of whole grains a day. Let's look and see what it, the ingredients are made. Watch out for common tricks. Bread may be brown because of the molasses or other added ingredients. Brown color does not necessarily mean it's a whole grain. Whole grain should always be the first ingredient listed. The key word to look for is whole. 
Other examples of whole grains are whole wheat, whole rye, whole grain flour, whole grain cornmeal, oatmeal, brown rice, or popcorn. All of these items count towards the recommended daily whole grains. Another way to tell if an item is a whole grain is by looking for the stamp. This stamp ensures that the product is made of whole grains. See, look, the first ingredient is whole wheat flour. It also has the whole grain stamp on Perfect. it. So Perfect. I, I should have noticed good. that earlier. Keep these same tips in mind when purchasing pastas, brown rice, and cereals. Oh wow, David, there's so many cereals. Which one do we choose? How do we know which one will is healthy for us? When choosing a cereal, there are three things we want to keep in mind. The serving size, the amount of fiber, and the amount of sugar. The first thing on a nutrition label is the serving size. This tells you how much food the rest of the facts are based on. It's important to look at this to understand the rest of the information. Next is the amount of fiber. Fiber helps the heart and digestive health and will keep us feeling full longer. Finally, the amount of sugar. It is recommended that we limit added sugars to 10% or less of our daily calories. So checking the sugar is a good decision when choosing a cereal. Let's go with this one. It has less sugar and a lot of grams of fiber. Okay. And it's whole grain. There you go. See, we got more whole grains. That's great. Okay, so I wanted always, to use green beans in the stir fry, today. David, but uh, I didn't see any fresh ones. Well, we, we could use canned, but um, that has a little more sodium. Canned vegetables, while often high in sodium, are great to have in the pantry because they have a longer shelf life and offer the same nutrients as fresh produce. They also may cost less than out-of-season produce. While choosing canned produce, look for low-sodium vegetables. The label may say, low sodium, no salt added, or reduce sodium. According to the FDA, eating too much or too little of some nutrients may increase the risk of certain chronic diseases such as heart disease and high blood pressure. Being mindful of sodium intake is helpful in promoting health. If, however, a low sodium option is not available, try draining and rinsing the item before cooking with it. Canned fruit often comes in either 100% juice or in syrup. To reduce added sugar, choose the fruits in 100% juice when possible. Canned protein like chicken, tuna, and salmon are affordable protein options that have a longer shelf life, making them easy to add to a meal last minute for extra protein. When choosing canned meats, look for leaner proteins like fish or chicken breast in water, not soil. This will reduce the fat content. If you enjoy fresh meat in meals, choose lean meats or leaner cuts of meat. This helps to reduce saturated fat intake, which helps support a healthy heart. Other alternative protein sources are lentils, beans, nuts, seeds, and soy products like tofu. Be sure to pair these with a whole grain to get the protein benefit. This chicken will be great with the stir fry. Oh, it's already pre-sliced, even better. Yeah. Awesome. I'm gonna grab some whole milk for the week, okay? Yeah, but wait a minute. I heard we should be drinking low-fat milk, but I'm not sure exactly why. Dairy products like milk, yogurt, and cheese are another good protein source. Choosing low-fat options like skim milk or 2% milk reduces the saturated fat content while maintaining the protein and calcium amount. Dairy also provides nutrients that help bones, teeth, and muscles. Some of us are lactose intolerant, or are unable to drink milk, but we can still get these same benefits from fortified milk alternatives like almond milk and soy milk.
These alternatives are usually low in saturated fat, but it's important to look out for added sugar. The best way to avoid added sugar is by choosing the unflavored options. Yogurt, a milk-based alternative, is also full of minerals that help bones, teeth, and muscles. When choosing yogurt, look for lower fat options and options without a lot of added sugar. How about we get some uh, plain yogurt? And that way we can sweeten it ourselves, even with some honey, or maybe some agave or something, and even some fresh fruit. That sounds perfect. Butter is high in saturated fat, which we want to limit to support overall health. Some alternatives to butter are canola oil, olive oil, grapeseed oil, and peanut oil. This one has canola oil, Oh, yes. All right. Sometimes, you know, I feel like making breakfast. Okay. So I feel like making smoothies. Frozen fruits are excellent ingredients for smoothies and a great alternative to fresh and canned fruit options. Using frozen fruits prevents having to use ice when blending. Change it up. Use a variety of fruits and vegetables in smoothies. Fresh fruit and vegetables can also be frozen if they are starting to go bad. I think that's a great idea. Okay. Yes. What about some uh, frozen meals for lunches? Oh, that's a good idea. That'll be quick and easy. While frozen meals can be a good option, when selecting pre-packaged meals, look out for the sodium content. The daily recommended intake for sodium is 2,300 milligrams. Keeping an eye on sodium and choosing meals with lower amounts is a good way to promote heart health. What we drink is just as important as what we eat. Many beverages contain added sugars and offer little to no nutrients. Drink water instead of sugary drinks when thirsty. While whole fruit is healthy, limit fruit juices as they can be high in sugar content. Always choose fruit juice that is 100% juice. What do you think about maybe getting like a fruit punch or that lemonade maybe? Well, I, was think, I was thinking about just adding fruit to our water this week. Oh, See that's an that even works. better idea. Okay. I agree. Absolutely. As we're doing it, let's see if we got all of our stir fry ingredients for under ten dollars. Bell peppers, zucchini, broccoli, brown rice, canned green beans, chicken. Awesome, we did it! On your next trip to the grocery store, try using these tips when shopping for your groceries.